Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to do a video on gap years. Um, so I'm currently on a gap year and I'm going into another one. And I just wanted to share my experience, um, some good things, some bad things about it, and some tips. This is good if you are thinking about taking one, if you are on one. I'm just going to briefly talk about my experience now with my gap year. My gap year, I started and I've carried on working in retail the whole year. I didn't really know what I was doing with my gap year. I just knew I needed one. I felt like I had a lot of pressure on me at school because I was taking the equivalent of five A levels. So I had a lot of work and I didn't want to commit myself to preparing for drama school or university, whatever. I didn't want to prepare for that yet when I knew I wasn't ready within myself or I didn't have enough time. And I just wanted to focus on what I was doing at that point in time. So it felt right just to take a gap year, but I didn't plan it or anything. I knew I wanted to earn a bit of money and I wanted to travel a bit. So I worked in retail the whole year. I was planning to go to Thailand with my best friend for about a month, classic. But yeah, that didn't happen because of Corona. I've got an agent this year. Um, I've tried to look for acting work. It just worked out that it didn't, that didn't really happen as much as I wanted it to. But yeah, I've been more active. I've gone to the gym. I've found a lot about myself and learned about myself that I probably wouldn't if I was at drama school. I guess I would learn about myself in different ways but this way I've really enjoyed learning about myself on a very personal level. I've also given myself a lot of slack and just let myself just have a break from education. It was super difficult um, especially like from the last year at school like in year 13 like I just felt like I'd been at school for so long and I just needed to get out of edu like the education system. I've always worked so hard in school and even though I absolutely loved it and I wouldn't change anything, I just knew that I just needed a breather from it just at least for a year, you know? And I feel like that's why a lot of people go and do a gap year just because it's nice just to have a breather and there are many reasons why you'd want to take one or why you are on one. So now I'm going to be talking about some good things, some things I really learned about myself and just learned in general from having a gap year. Working in retail has been a big thing and it's taught me a lot about my kind of political orientation kind of. During this year I've got so passionate about politics but I feel like it was um, very connected to my experience in retail and how I am viewed differently because I am a worker. I feel like where I live doesn't necessarily help. I feel like people view you differently, especially at times where it's hectic, like Christmas, um, but leading up to when we were going on lockdown was really horrible as well. Like I worked long hours, um, but I found a lot about myself when I was doing it. And I found that I was neglecting my own needs myself for the sake of money, for the sake of maintaining a job that I didn't I don't really like, but there we are. I found that by having to talk to customers 24 seven who weren't nice to me, it just hardened me and it made me not a nice person because of the way people would treat me. So I would defend and like be horrible back to people and just be a moody so-and-so. It taught me a lot about why there is that divide and why the country is so messed up and how we look at people who are doing work for us and it really opened my eyes to the type of people that I want to see in the world and the community I want to create and the world I want to see and be a part of. Like, I want people to be kind like that's the world that I want to see I want to create a world of kindness and so like working in retail taught me a lot about politics um, where I stand on a lot of issues um, taught me quite a bit about feminism and it gave me a lot of experience with that. People telling me to smile, um, people telling me I'm too rude, I'm not good at customer service because I'm not chatty. It gave me, as I mentioned before, a well-earned break from education. Education is full-time, it's a big thing to have to commit to, like we don't have a choice and it was just so nice to have a breather and be almost independent and accountable for my own progress and my own like self because school takes a lot of that away from you and that's it was nice and it was what I needed at the time but I'm happy to be kind of my own person and manage my own self a lot more now and it made me learn how to do that because I don't have anyone else to manage me and, re and rely on to do things for me you know it made me 
hungry again as well. So when I came out of school, I didn't know if I wanted to do English or acting. I fell in love with English the more I did it at school because I kind of stopped the acting -y side of my course. With English, I carried on and I loved it. But having this year to reflect, it's made me realise the only thing I want to do is act because it's what makes me happy. And whatever you want to do, whatever makes you happy and whatever job you find yourself loving and not seeing it as a job, but seeing it as something you make a living from and enjoy every second of it, like that's what you should do. And you shouldn't sacrifice that for anything. But I think it's so important to follow your dream, whatever, like whatever happens, like I think always centre yourself and reflect on how you can get there because that is, this is your life, like you need to take control of it and realise that you are accountable for your own happiness and you can get that, like you can be happy in a job, like whatever, like you can make that for yourself. Like this year really kind of gave me an insight on how to do that and how to make it happen for myself. And it's made me want it so bad, like doing drama school auditions, like whether that's applying for uni or doing drama school auditions, whatever you want to do. It makes you realise how much you want what you want. It just makes me value every single opportunity I get even more. So that's been like so, like such a good thing about having this gap year. The things that weren't so good for me on this gap year was working. It's not something that gives me happiness. And so I was showing kind of a bitter side to me at work. And it made me realise like I can't live like that. Like I, I want to be happy and I want to be kind to people. I can't do a job that doesn't make me feel that way because I don't want to present myself to people that way. Do you know what I mean? And in that same way, I started losing myself a bit um, and getting lost in like small talk conversations and getting hung up on the fact that like the world is so shallow when really it's not. It's just whatever you think is the reality. Do you know what I mean? Like we are capable of making our own reality in our mind I have a quote, I'll put it here, um, that really explains that really well. But yeah, I think that this year has taught me more than anything. Now, now I'm feeling like this. Throughout the whole year, I didn't have a clue. But now I know that I need to concentrate on myself and prioritise my own health, my own happiness above anything else. Like, I don't care what I have to sacrifice to do that. Like, I don't care if I have a bit less money coming in every month. Um, if people at my job hate me, if my parents don't agree with me, like when you're growing, you can't, you can't think about what other people think because it's not you. Like you have to just listen to yourself and know what you're doing. And if you trust that, then do it. Like whatever you feel, do. So now in this section, I'm going to be talking about maybe questions that you could maybe ask yourself if you wanted to take a gap year um, or you're going into one or you're on one. Even if you're not doing the whole uni thing because that's that doesn't have to be the case like at all like you don't have to do that you know like it's kind of stupid anyway I don't really know why I'm buying into it I am now posing these questions to myself because I haven't answered that I haven't been accountable for these questions for the whole year and I want to make this next one I'm going on something that really changes me and helps me grow more as a person than I have ever in my life learning about yourself and reinventing yourself is just the most fun exciting thing to do it's the most valuable thing you can do because you are your biggest project at the end of the day. If whatever helps you get to where you want to be, then that's the most important thing, right? So the first question is why? So why do you want to do a gap year? Why are you on a gap year? Will it benefit you? What are you going to get out of this year? And what will you make yourself get out of this year? What are your goals, your things that you want to achieve by the end of it? And how will that benefit you with what you want to maybe go into or just in general, personally, what will that give back to you? Also, kind of tied into that, um, ask yourself what you want. Do you want this year to save just to work your ass off in retail, in whatever job? Do you want to just work and save a lot of money so you can afford university or drama school, um, traveling, anything like that. Are you thinking, are you reevaluating your decisions about what you want to do maybe? Um, thinking of a different kind of career path, what you want to do with your life? Um, or are you like trying to focus yourself on one thing that you know you kind of want to do but you, you're not too sure? Are you going to travel? Are you just needing a break? Like what, what do you need? 
and what are you going to do that's going to make you feel good so now i'm going to go on to some tips that i have for you and i think i'm making this video almost for myself as well because i need to hear this like i need to hear my own advice to kind of like manifest it and put it out and i want to share that with you and going into my second year, I'm reevaluating everything um, about myself, about what I want for myself, about what I need. So a really good exercise is something I actually didn't think would kind of help me with this. My best friend Mia is doing a self-care challenge on her Instagram and she's posting it every day, like these challenges that you can do. And the very first one was what made me realize that I need to start paying attention to myself again. And this is create a resource so I made a google slides of where you want to be in the next year in the next five years in the next 10 years all of those things and write down how you're going to do it what you want to do mood board it like do everything you can write to yourself like write a letter like you can do this as much or little as possible but the more you do it the more it'll benefit you um in terms of how much you write and how much time you put into it i put a lot of time into this because as soon as i started doing it i was like i have so much to say i have so much i want to do and i want to make this happen for myself and it made me realize how hungry i am for the things that i want um a quote that i put on my mood board is by roald dahl and I'll put it here again. Um, but it's basically saying that you should be an enthusiast. You shouldn't be lukewarm. You should want something in your life with everything that you've got. Figure out your priorities. Write down what you want, what you want to prioritise, what's your top thing. If it's yourself, what are you going to do? How are you going to learn about yourself? Is that getting into spirituality? Is it doing self care challenges from pinterest and stuff like that is it you know going to the gym like what what are you doing for yourself and that applies to everything like if you want to work more why how much are you going to make set goals for yourself and implement them into your gap year as you go along because it will give you kind of a guideline of where you should be after a certain amount of time and then at the end of the year you can reflect on everything and then think do i want another one of these because it might be quite good but if you don't, if you've achieved everything, then maybe you might think about going and doing what you want to do. Another thing that I think is really important to me is to go out of your comfort zone. This year, I haven't done that enough and I want to. I want to really push myself. I want to have stories to tell the grandkids, to tell drama school. When you do that, you will find it easier to adapt to new things, new places. And I know that a lot of people struggle with the idea of university or kind of moving out of your own home, being independent, taking a new avenue in your life, um, because it is a really big thing. It's so scary. And I feel like that's what puts a lot of people off of it. But in this gap year, you can push yourself out your comfort zone. You can make mistakes. This year is for making mistakes. You can do what you want. This is your time. This is your time for yourself. Go wild, go crazy, push yourself out your comfort zone and you will grow so, 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 so much. I never want to stop evolving. I never want to stop growing. So yeah, I kind of wanted to conclude with the reasons to take a gap year, but I feel like I've already kind of explained that. Just to summarise, it's to figure out what you want to do with your life. Find yourself, really find yourself, because you are your biggest investment. Like, I'll never stop saying that. In order for the world to love you so hard the way that it should, you've got to love yourself first and you've got to love yourself so fiercely that they know exactly how to do it. You will have stories to tell and they will shape you into the person that you're meant to be. You will grow so much. You'll be a different person by the end of it if you, if you make it happen. But only you are responsible for your own happiness, your own growth. No one else is, nobody else. Make mistakes though. Definitely make mistakes because that's how we learn and don't see that as a negative. If I can do it, you can do it. And I'm doing another one, so, you know, feel for me. But yeah, I hope that this video has maybe even inspired you to take one, to be honest. Whatever you want to do, whatever you feel is right, just follow it and good things will come from it, I promise you. And just remember, life's doing things for you. It's not doing things to you, so you can trust that process. You can trust that because I promise you it will work out. But yes, I hope this video has been really helpful for you um it inspires you in some way maybe um even if that's just to create a mood board thank you so much for watching this video and subscribe comment like tell me what you think message me on instagram if you 
want to ask me any questions i'm probably most active on there i'll see you in my next video bye